Welcome to the Thunder Post Game Show, brought to you by Advent Heat, Air, and Plumbing. On call 24-7 for all Thunder fans, John Rohde alongside Thunder beat writer Darnell Mayberry. Thunder wins it, beats Denver 117-97. to It's uh, last home game here for about 16 days. Uh, Darnell started out 34-18, jumped on him early. Denver played an overtime game last night. Uh, the Thunder knew it, and they wanted a press from the get-go. Yeah, that's what they did. They came out, turned up the defensive intensity, and, and let their defense turn the offense. And I thought uh, the, real, the, the perimeter players did a really nice job of crowding the ball and, and really shutting off the passing lanes. The, the inside players did a good job of uh, clogging the paint and not letting those guys get uh, easy buckets at the basket. So uh, all in all, just a great defensive effort. Great start for Russell Westbrook. 36 points uh, on Monday night in Phoenix. First half, he added 25, 61 points in six quarters. The jumper's fallen. He's feeling good. Few turnovers. Uh, he's really got it clicking right now. Yeah, Kevin Durant was asked, you know, what do you do when he's got that mid-range jumper going? He said it's a nightmare. It's an absolute nightmare. You can't stop him because he's going to get to the rim. He's going to get to the free throw line. Uh, and if he's making this three-point shot on top of that mid-range jump shot, there's nothing you can do to stop Russell Westbrook. He carried them in that first quarter here in Kevin Durant. Uh, 16 points for Russell Westbrook. The Nuggets had 18 in the first period, so that just shows you uh, how good he was individually and how good the team was defensively. All right, next up is a six-game road trip over 10 days. All the starters got to rest the entire fourth quarter. By the way, Serge Ibaka returned today, had five block shots. He always blocks a lot of shots against Denver. So they had a chance to uh, rest. And uh, DeAndre Liggins. DeAndre Liggins, no, it's all right. That's okay. We should we should have him on here, you know. DeAndre Liggins played again tonight, playing well. Uh, your thoughts on him? We got we got to do something on this guy. We got to do a story come Sunday. You know, we you and I both loved him in training camp. You saw his hustle. You saw his energy and his effort. He you know he said at media day he was here to make the team. To, to he didn't say make the team. He said he's here to get a job, and he's got a job. He not only has a job, but he's now in the rotation. So. Aside from him walking in front of our broadcast, <laughs> you got to tip your cat to DeAndre Liggins. He's done everything right uh, and given this team uh, a spark that it de desperately needs at times. And, you know, you have to give him credit. He's played his butt off. Well, what do you expect? He stays in front of the opponent. He stays in front of us. Those are our thoughts. Let's get to the thoughts of Coach Scott Brooks and some Thunder players. I thought we came out with um, great energy from the start. Both ends of the floor, we um, set the tone early with our defense and it allowed us to, I think we scored 30 points in that first quarter, but it was um, good basketball. We were making shots, but we were, we were playing good defense and that really enables us to play better offense. And a little bit, they were, I mean, they were a little tired. They had a uh, tough game last night and flew in late, but overall I thought it was, um, our defense really was good in the start of the game and then we got hot and, and then we took the, took the lead and closed out the game. So I thought that first um, quarter they did a great job expanding that lead with Liggins. Liggins just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of him. You know, he hasn't got a lot of minutes um, early in the year, and he, he, you know, he made the made the team, you know, by fighting for everything he he's earned. And you know, I'm proud of that that he gets out there and competes and get, has been given some opportunities, and he's taken advantage of it. Um, the D League has helped. He's, he spent some time down there, and he spent time. He spends time with our coaching, our coaches staff, and he he's produced. But I thought that second unit played well when when we needed it in that first quarter. This league got to be real, you know, because just as quickly you can win four or five, you can lose four or five. So you know, we never can be complacent. Well, that's the best part of our, about our team. And we know that every time we step on the floor, no matter if we're back to back, um, you know, three games and you know, four nights, however. We're going to come out and play as hard as we can and um, have to give ourselves a chance to win the game. So that's the best part about our team. I don't know how it's going to be easy to win it. You can't get, can't get bored with winning. Uh, if you do, then you got a problem. But, I, mean, I think if we continue to win, continue to play the right way, I think we'll be all right. 